So at home, if you have something you can use, a strap, that would be great. If not, you can go through the range of motion and just the poles. And then at the end, when we use it for stretching, you can just use like a, a robe belt or a belt or a tie, anything like that. Yeah. I think, I think my guess. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so to make sure the sound is all right, you guys ready? All right, let's start with the good breath in. Nice big inhale, reach all the way up. And exhale, let's do two more. Touch your elbows behind you and then gently bring it back up with control. So 
So you're pulling it down, squeeze, and lift it back up. Pull it down, squeeze those elbows together, and lift it back up. Squeeze. And up. How about four more? Squeeze. And lift. Imagine you can touch those elbows behind you. Try to touch them behind you. Just two to go. Squeeze. And lift. One more time. Squeeze. And lift. Now hold it here. You're going to keep those arms long. What I always see people do here is put their head down. You to try to keep that neck nice and long with your spine. And you're just going to pull and bring it in. And you want to pull and pull. And if you want to feel tension, but not so much that you can't get your arm down. Pull. How about four more? Three. Two. The last one here. Now hold it here. Let's go to the other side. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. The last one here. Now hold it here. Back to the center. So right over that chest. Squeeze those elbows like you said from behind you. And then lowering it back up. Full control the whole time. Squeeze. And squeeze and squeeze and about four, four, three, two, last one. And now one more time. We're gonna hold it here. Keep that neck long, centered with your body. Bring it down and down. And down. Bring it down. How about four more? Four, three, two. The last one. Now hold it here. Other side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one, now hold it here. Just bring it to the front of the chest. Loosen it up on those hands if it got too tight. The belly is in and just press it out. And out. press it out. And good. press it out. And out, just four more. Out, out, out. And out, let's bring that in. Loosen that up. Keep it nearby. We're going to use it again shortly. Belly is in. Come on to the edge of that mat. When you're ready, just lift those arms all the way up and start shifting it down. So that you're getting those back. Some shoulders in the back. Yeah, it's definitely in the shoulders. Oh. But it's not much to be in the shoulders. <laughs> I never want to, you know, make you leave here thinking you missed something. All right, so that belly is in, just bring it down, let that head sit. When you're ready, you can go ahead and stretch, just go ahead and walk it out into the plank position. So keep into that spine, that neck is long, eyes over the fingertips. Good deep breath. Inhale, exhale. Hold it here. You can always go onto your forearms. You can always drop to your knees. Do whatever works for you. And now you're going to take that left hand, put it under your nose, and turn onto your left side. Reaching that arm way up. Good deep breaths. Just hold for six. Five, four, three, two. Now we're going to bring that arm down. Both wrists under the shoulders. Center yourself in that center plank. Boy, take a break here. Good deep breath. And now we're going to bring that right hand under the nose and turn on to that right side. Inhale, exhale, good deep breath. Hold it here. Four, three, two. And let's bring that down. Both wrists under those shoulders. Neck is 
long belly of the feet. And now I'm just going to drop those knees down, pop them in the other floor, and press that bottom over your heels in a deep breath. Just hold on to this stretch. Good deep breath. Inhale and exhale. We're going to slide the hands back under our shoulder. Knees stay underneath our head. We'll round that back way up and press. Round way up and press. We should do it two more times. Up and up to the and press. And now let's just walk that around. You're going to take a seat on the mat. Those of your feet on the floor, that belly stays tucked and tight. We'll round the back and press round and press just one more time and press. And now we'll finish up with this. We won't take it out again until the end for stretching. So, since we're in the moment, we might as well finish it up now. So, you're going to take it and put it under the soles of your feet. Lift those legs up into the table top position. Here we go. You sit. We're going to drop a little bit around your hands. You have a good grasp. Keep that belly tight. Shoulders back and down. Neck long with your spine. And then you pull it back. Squeeze those elbows like you can touch them behind you. And then bring it back. Squeeze it back. And out. Squeeze it back. And out. Squeeze. And out. Pull it back. Try to touch those elbows. And out. Pull it back. And out. Just two more. Pull it back. And out. One more. And out. Now let's bring those feet down. Bring those hands underneath the knees. Round that back. And brush your chest. We'll do that once more. And then we'll do one more set. And we're done with that. Now bring it in. You're ready. Belly is in. Lift it up. Keep that belly tight. Make it long. Pull and reach. Pull and reach. Pull and reach. Pull and reach. Just four more. Squeeze. 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 Last one. Bring it down. Bring it down. Let's take that out, put it to the side, pull one foot in at the side, hands on the knees, round that back, and brush your chest through. Just one more. And press. And now let's pull that in. Reach those legs long. Come on back. Bring those arms behind you. So you're gonna we're gonna start with a roll-up. We'll do five roll-ups, and then we're gonna stay up. And we're going to do the 100. If you need to come all the way back for the 100, that's fine. You can do whatever works for you. Keeping that belly nice and tight. Nice big, big inhale. And then exhale, lift it up. You want to touch the ceiling, round it over, get that nice cool, cool stretch, then gently pull it back. If you get that little bit of a hold before you come all the way down, bring it up. Round it over and gently pull it back, little hold, come all the way down to three more. Up, round it over, and bring it back, little hold. We have just two left. Up, round it over, and bring it back, little hold. And now on this one, we're going to hold it at our feet. Lift, round it over, let that hip sink to those knees. Big deep breath. Inhale and exhale. And then we're going to keep the toes, slide it back, shoulders back and down. One knee comes in at a time, belly stays in. We're going to bring those legs into that tabletop position. Keep that belly tight, neck long with your spine. Reach the arms out. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Inhale. One, two, 
three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, one more time, in, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, now bring that in, push that lock foot bottom towards your heel, come all the way back, back to the left, and then we'll finish up that hundred, reach those arms out, nice big inhale, exhale, reach for the ceiling, round it over, get that nice stretch, and gently pull it back, over, over, over. And all the way. Good deep breaths. Round it over. Let that hip sink. And gently bring it back. A little hold. Just three to go. Round it over. Gently bring it back. A little hold. Just two left. Up. Cool it. Bring it back to the hold. And on this one, you're going to hold it. Round it over here. Just hold. Two deep breaths. Point those toes. Sliding your back down. Shoulders back and down. Belly is in. One leg comes in at a time. When you're ready, bring it into that table top position. Keep that stable tight. Reach those arms out. Neck long with your spine. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Exhale. One, two, three, four. One more time. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Now bring it down. Bring those hands and those knees around that back. And stretch your chest. Let's just do once more. And then back. And now you're going to bring those knees in. Keep your bottom toward your heel. Come all the way back. That belly stays deep. Shoulders down away from your ears. You're going to bring those hands behind your head. Elbows out good and wide. You want to take your time to make sure that belly is settled deep into the spine. Lower back. Settled into the mat. Bring the lift to the center. Turn to the left. Back to the center. And come down. Lift, turn, center, down, up, turn, center, and down, up, turn, center, down, just two more. Lift, turn, center, down, one more time. Lift, turn, center, and down. Now hold it here, that belly stays deep, bring those legs into the tabletop position. Lift that chest if you can. We're going to bring the heel down and lift. Down and lift. Very controlled. That leg stays in the same position from start to finish. Big deep breaths. Down and down. Let's just do two more each side. Last one each side. And now holding it here, we're going to bring those heels down and lift, keeping that belly super tight. Inhale and exhale, keeping that lower back tight into the floor. If you need to let that head go back, if you need to bring your hands underneath, that's fine. We'll just do three more. Three, two, now last one like this. And then we're going to pull those knees and let that head go back. Give them a short hug. And then you're going to bring one foot down at a time. Reach one leg out at a time. Take up all that space on the mat. Go into that roll-up position, bringing those arms behind your head. We're going to do one roll-up, lifting ourselves back up. Nice big inhale. Exhale. Lift to the ceiling. Round it over to get that stretch. Let that head just sink. And then you'll gently pull those arms up, shoulders back and down, head up high. We're going to bring one foot in at a time, keeping those feet on the floor. You're going to reach those arms out. Nice big, big inhale. As you start to come back, just as low as you can, make sure those abdominals are taken over. Exhale, lift to the ceiling, bring it down, and reach it forward. So it's down, lift. Down and forward. Two more. Back, up, down, and forward. This time we're going to hold it. 
Bring it down now, hold it here. You're going to round those arms, turn to the side, palms go up. You're tapping the shoulder. Good deep breaths. And tap. Make sure it's your abdominals holding you up. If it doesn't feel that way, come back a little further. Just two more. Now hold it here. Turn those palms down. Squeeze and reach. Squeeze and reach. Squeeze and reach. Two more. Bring it out. Come back to the center. Round those arms. Bring it up. Hands under the knees. Round that back. And press your chest. One more time. Round. And press. Now hold it here. Belly is in. Arms come out. You're going to bring it back. Belly takes over. Open up those arms. So you're making like a V shape. Thumbs are up. And we're just going to lift and lower. Up and down. Lift and down. Lift and down. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Bring it down now. Hold it here. Reach it up. Make that circle. Turn to the other side. Keep that belly tight. Arms come out. Tap the shoulder. Good deep breaths. Just four to go. Three, two. Last one. Now reach it up. Turn the palms down. Squeeze. Squeeze. Shoulders down away from your ears. Squeeze. Just four more. Four, three, two. And one, reach it out, come back to the center, hands under the knees, around that back. Stretch your chest once more. And then press it now. The last one, belly is in. Bring it back as much as you can, making those abdominals take over. Arms out a little more to the ankle. Thumbs up, lift, and lower. Up and down. Up and down. Lift and down. Just four left. Three, two, and one. Bring that down, hands under, round that back. Press your chest one more time. Press it back. Now we're going to scoot our way to the top of the mat. Go ahead and grab some water if you want it. We will start with rolling like a ball. So when you're ready, so ready? Everyone get into position. Those sits bones all balanced. Hands wherever you need them to be, whether it's ankles, shins, hamstrings. We're going to pick those feet up off the floor, round it back. And then come right before we start, we don't let those feet touch the floor. And forward. Good deep breath. How about two more? The last one. And now we're going to hold it here. We're going to go right into the ab series. That belly is in. Extend out that left leg. Left hand under the right knee. Right hand on the ankle. We're going to pull it back. Keeping that chest lifted if you can. Eyes on your belly button. Pull, pull. And switch. Pull, pull. And switch. Good. Deep breaths. Pull, pull. And switch. Let's do three more. Two more. The last one each side. And then we'll hold both knees in. Nice big inhale. Reach out the arms and legs. Exhale. Center. Reach and center. Out and in. Out and in. Four. Three. Two. The last one. And then pull that in, belly stays in, legs come up, both hands on that right ankle, as low on the leg as you can go, left leg almost to the floor, pull, pull, and switch, pull, pull, and switch, inhale, exhale, good deep breaths, pull, 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 let's just do three more, two more, last one each side. Now hold it here, hands come behind the head, belly, you step deep into that spine. Next big inhale, let you bring it down. 
exhale as you want. No momentum. Very controlled. Down. And left. Down. And left. Down. And we come up four more. Four. And three. And two. Last one like this. And now pull it here. We're going to bend those knees. Belly stays deep. Opposite elbow, opposite knee as we extend the leg and switch sides. Good deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Reach and cross. Use your eyes to see the elbow that goes behind you. Just four more. Three. Two. One. Now hold it here. Let's hug those knees in. Give them a nice little rock. We're going to take that left leg and bring it all the way down to the mat. Lift the right leg up. Hold that toe pointed. That belly stays deep. That left hand is coming behind your head. Right leg extends out into a T. We're going to lift. Try to bring the elbow and the knee together. And then bring everything down to the floor. We'll lift it up and bring it down. If this is too much, go ahead and bend that left knee up and down. How about four more? Three left. Two to go. Last one. Now hold it here. Pull that knee in. Pull the other knee in. And now put that right foot on the floor. The left leg comes all the way up. Go ahead and straighten out that right leg. Left hand behind the head. So we right hand your head, left arm goes out. Belly stays deep. And then we're going to reach that elbow to the knee and bring it all down. Reach and then come all the way down. Reach and reach. And then how about four more? Four and three and two and last one. Now hold that there, pull that knee in, other knee in, give it that little rock. And now you're going to put that left foot on the floor, right leg comes up, toes pointed to the ceiling. Go ahead and settle those hips in. You can keep that leg bent or straighten it out on the mat. We're going to go right into leg circles. So when you're ready, get in your position, arms up or down. Knee bent or straight. Make sure the glutes are tight and hips are strapped. Nothing's going to move here. We're going to take that right leg, cross it over the left leg, have it come straight down from the hips, and then lift it straight up. Sweep it past, down. And we're keeping those glutes super tight, keeping those hips round to the floor. Bring it around, down, and lift just two more times. Down, and lift one more time. And let's now hold it here, and we'll bring that to the other direction. Big deep breaths. Bring it out, and bring it around. And let's just three to go. And let's two. And let's one more time. And let's now hold it here. One hand above the other on the hamstring. And we're going to climb our way to the top. That belly needs some tape. Walk it up. Get a little stretch. And send it back. We'll do four of these. Walking it up. And back to left. Up. And down. And on this next one, we'll hold it. Let's hold it here. Do a deep breath. Make that deep curve with your back. Put your belly button forward and that leg towards you. And then let's lift that chest proud. Straighten out that spine. Cross that leg over. We'll lift up that left arm. 
tuck it in the right thigh, reach up my hip, and just take a touch. Good. Inhale, exhale. And then let's release that hold. Come around and cross that leg. Pull that thigh in towards your chest. Lift it up, go all the way back. Pull the other knee in. Put that right foot down. Left leg rises. Get into your position, whatever that is. Belly is in. Strap those hips down. Arms up or down. Point that toe. Nice big inhale. Exhale. Sweep that left leg past the right. Straight down from the head. And lift it straight up. Make sure you're holding those glutes nice and tight to keep those hips rounded on the mat. We just have three left. Big deep breath. Two to go. One more. And lift it up here. Hold it here. We're going to bring that leg outside the body. And bring it out. And bring it out. Two. Last one. And now hold it here, one hand above the other. That belly is tucked in tight. Be ready. We're going to climb our way up to the top. Up. Give it that stretch and send it back. Walk it in up. And send it back. Just two to go. Up. And back. And let's hold this one up and back. Hold it here, make that seat perfect. Your back is that good stretch. Excuse me. Hold it here, good deep breath. Inhale, exhale. And let's cross that leg over. Reach the arm up. Pull it in. Reach behind. Look at that shoulder bone. Hold it here, good deep breath. Inhale, exhale. And let's release. Uncross that arm. Uncross that leg. Pull that knee in. Hands under those knees. We're going to run that back. And cross the chest. Let's just do that once more. And press. And now we're going to pull that in. Scoot our bottom back. Bring our feet to the corner, pull those toes into our shins. Keep that belly nice and tight. Nice big inhale as you lift up as high as you can go. Exhale, reach forward in the spine, spine stretch forward, feeling that stretch in your spine, lower back, hamstring, and then pull from that belly button, pull it back, and lift it up tall as you two more. Inhale up. Exhale, reach. Hold it here. Good. And then pull from that belly button, pull it back. We'll lift it up tall just one more time. Inhale up. Exhale, reach. Hold it here. And then we're going to take that right hand and put it on that right ankle. Left arm. Let's watch it with your hands. Big breaths. Inhale, exhale. And then let's bring that down, reach up the other side. Hold it here. Bring that down, pull from that belly button, line it back up, shoulders back and down, head up nice and tall. We're going to bend those knees and move our way to the top. You ready to open my rock garden? All right. So you find your place, easiest is here. Most of us around here, a few of you up here. So you pick your spot, whatever works for you. Belly is in, I know your belly button. Let's bring it back. We'll go for four. And then we'll try to challenge ourselves and go to that next spot, whatever. One more. All right, let's hold it here, keeping that belly tight. 
And now from where <laughs> from wherever you are, you want to try to straighten your leg a little more and bring your hands down a little further, a little more towards your feet. If they're already at your ankles, hold on to your toes. You ready? Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. How about one more? <laughs> Good boy. Bring it in. Bring it down. And knees. Round that back. And round. And press. Let's pull that in. Move it all the way back. Point those toes, hands come behind your hips. You now lift those hips up and just pull. Two deep breaths. Inhale and exhale. Pull for eight, seven. You can always bend the knees. You need to. Six, five, four, three, two. And then gently start bringing those hips down. Hold here. Bring one hand in at a time. Pull those toes in towards your shins. We're going to reach those arms out. Nice big inhale. Turn and center. Turn and center. Turn and center. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale one more time. And turn. Now hold it here. Pull one knee in at a time. Round step back. Stretch your chest. We are going to turn it over, coming onto your hands and knees. Go ahead and grab a little water. Wait, extra thirsty. <laughs> I have a bug bite on my eye, and I have to take steroid. And it's like, I don't know if it's making me super thirsty or how it is. So ugly. This looks good. I think it's really good from compared to yesterday and the day before. It's like, oh, it's scratched and it hurt. But it's like, it's out like that. So very pretty. <laughs> Round this up. Press. Oh. This guy went to urgent care yesterday. It's much better. better. And the first thing he thought is it was shingles. I'm like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then let's press it back over your heels. But fortunately, it wasn't. And drop the head down. And now we'll just slide those hands back under, wrist under the shoulders, and knees back under the hips, taking a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, you're going to reach out that left arm and right leg, centering those hips. Good. Inhale and exhale, you want to center. Ah. 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 Now, pull that elbow knee in ah. and reach back out. Hold it. Pull it in and reach just three more. Three, two, one, two. The last one. And now reach out to the last one. Last one over here. Turn that thumb in. Bring that hand to me in. Nice big inhale. Exhale, reach off the other side. Centering the steps. Fully. And now fold in. And in the press. Bring your steps center. Let your palm fold. Just three more. The last one. Now hold it here, turn that palm down, as you press the floor with the fingers and toes. Last one, now hold it here, turn the palm in, and you can tuck it around that back way up. Just one more time. So if you're, um, 
on. I'm going to straighten out that back, that spine is nice and long. If your wrists are starting to get tired, come on down to your forearms. We're going to be here for a little bit. So do whatever you want for the arms. The belly is deep into that spine. We're going to reach out the right leg, that toe stays pointed. And we're just going to tap the right corner, lift to the center. Tap the left corner, lift to the center. Tap, squeeze, tap.
Good, deep breaths. Inhale and exhale. Just hold it here. Inhale and exhale. We're going to break our toes up so that you're balanced on your heels. Squeeze those glutes nice and tight. And now let's tap the hips down to the mat and squeeze them back up. Tap them, move them. I feel like the music went on to my playlist. <laughs> and I think I better check that out. <laughs> Keep going. Squeeze and tap. Squeeze and tap. All right, so on this next one, you're going to hold it up, walk your feet out at the foot's length toward the edge of the mat. Squeeze up, tap down, squeeze up, tap down, squeeze up, tap down, lift, and tap. Let's just do four more. Three. Two. Now we're going to hold this next one up. Walk your feet further toward the edge of the mat. So now you should feel those hamstrings engaged right away. You're going to tap it down, squeeze it up. Tap it down, squeeze it up. Tap, squeeze. Tap, squeeze. We'll just do four more. Four. Three. Two, and now hold it up. You want the feet back one at a time. So if you're forward, you can put that one foot on the floor, ground those hips up. Just hold it there. And now starting at the top of your spine, you're going to gently pull yourself down. Coming all the way, settle those hips in. Pull one knee in at a time, just settle around side to side. We're going to put our arms in between our legs and then wrap the hands out around your foot and lift those legs up just as tall as you can. Bring those knees towards your shoulders, towards your armpits. And if you want to, you can bring a little rock side to side and massaging out that lower back. Big deep breaths. Inhale. And then here we can untangle those arms, bring those feet back to the floor, bring the soles of the feet together, opening up those thighs, bring those knees down for the floor, that belly skin deep into your spine, your hands are going to pull behind your head, and you're just going to lift that chest up and lower. Lift and lower. Up and down, really tucking that belly deep into your spine. And let's just do six more. Five, keeping the elbows out wide. Four, three, two, and one more time. And now let that come down. Arms by your side. Go ahead and grab onto that strap again. Settle your shoulders back and down. Let's settle down into the floor. We're going to go ahead and take our feet and put both feet into the strap. And then just pull those legs back, getting that nice stretch. Big deep breaths. And exhale. So you're pulling back enough so that you feel a good stretch, but not so much that it's strenuous or painful. It just doesn't feel right. So if you want this to feel good. Inhale, exhale. Let's start stretching the right side. So we're going to take the left foot out, and depending on your flexibility, you can either be on a bench or you can be straight out on the mat. The more flexible you are, the more straight you can have it. And then you're going to start pulling that right leg towards you. 
And again, enough to feel the stretch, not enough to feel any pain, no shaking. If you're feeling any of that, just release it a little bit. Good, deep breath. And now you're gonna hold the strap with just your right hand and let your left arm be out by your side and let that right leg fall out to the right side. What you want to do here is keep your hips on the floor and keep those shoulder blades on the floor. As you let the leg fall out as far as it can go without having to lift the hips. Everybody's different, so just go with your flexibility, what feels right to you. Inhale, exhale, just hold it here. And when you're ready, you're going to pull that back into the center, switch hands, and bring your right arm to the out. But this time, you're going to lift that right thigh up toward the left shoulder. So try and get it toward the left shoulder. So you're pulling it in and pressing it down, pushing it over to the side. So this way, you're getting a nice stretch into that. Move, but you're also getting the IT band. Big deep breaths. You're lifting it up and over to the opposite shoulder. Keeping the hips on the floor. Big deep breaths. Now let's come back to the center. We can bring both hands on and just pull it back into the center again. This time you can probably go a little bit further, but you still don't want it to hurt. So if there's any pain, any discomfort, then let it go away. And now go ahead and open up the strap. Then let's put that left foot in and take the right one out. The foot goes on the mat. You decide where you're going to be straight leg and right. And then just start pulling that left leg toward you. Good deep breaths. Inhale. Only enough to feel the stretch, not enough to feel the pain. Now go ahead and put that right arm to you out by your side and have that left leg fall out to the left side. Big deep breaths, keeping your hips on the floor, shoulder blades on the floor. Falling out to as much as feels right to you. And now let's bring that back to the center. We're going to switch arms. And now think about bringing that thigh up towards your opposite shoulder. So tee out that left arm, and the left thigh is coming up where the right shoulder. Still keep those glutes down on the floor, those hips down on the floor, and the shoulder blades down on the floor. Good, deep breaths. Only enough to feel the stretch, not enough to cause any pain. So it's like you're crossing the legs over the body. Left thigh. Right shoulder. Inhale, exhale. And now let's just bring it back to the center. Go ahead and pull it back to the center just a little bit more. So maybe a little more range of motion, but don't pull too far. You don't want to feel it. 
Just make yourself comfortable so you can bring your arms by your side, keep them behind you, whatever works for you. Go ahead and close your eyes. Take in a good deep breath through your nose and a nice big breath in the Again, a good deep, deep inhale and exhale. And exhale. And now just continue to breathe softly and deeply at your own impact. Let your eyes just close softly. Push your shoulders down away from your ears. Let that upper back just settle into the floor. Let your arms just feel heavy on the mat. Let it feel a nice ease in your back. Let your hips just settle into the floor. Let your legs feel heavy as they just slip into the mat. Relaxing the feet and your toes. And the knees around your body. Now let's take in a good deep breath. 
reach all the way up. Let's hold our breath here. And now as we exhale, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more time. Big inhale. Touch the ceiling with your fingertips. And then exhale, eight, seven, six, five,